Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be reacting to some more Nostalgia Critic, and it's going to be The Legend of Titanic. Oh boy, another Titanic movie. Oh god, oh god no. The last one was uh, a rapping dog. Oh no. <laughs> no, please, no. <laughs> don't say this is a sequel to the rapping dog movie. I don't know. Is this going to be a cartoon? What is this going to be? Uh, but I have a feeling this is going to be god-awful. Um, so what does the Titanic and the Legend of the Titanic uh, sort of movie have in common? They both sank. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm scared. I really am. Because I, I just realized if we're going to be seeing some rapping dogs again, I'm going to be shitting myself. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's uh, play the video, shall we? Oh god, Let, let's go. <laughs> Oh, God. oh, great, Nostalgia Critic. The entire costume party was ruined. I thought we agreed that you were going to be the <laughs> yeah, Vader, and I was going to be the shadowy puppet master dark overlord that controls oh, please, you, just like dogs. in real life. Nostalgia <laughs> Critic. Wow. The other animated Titanic movie. <laughs> <laughs> that that sort of tie. Nostalgia critic. Can you hear me? Yes, my brother. <laughs> I apologize. I passed out after I thought I heard news that there was another animated Titanic movie. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm afraid in your rage we have forgotten that there is another Titanic. Movie. Oh, please let there be no job to review it. It can't be. It's I not reviewed possible. it already. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> the Legend of the Titanic. Oh, please, God, no. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, oh. it appears there's another feature length ripoff oh, of James Cameron's Titanic. I can't believe I live in a world where two of these exist. And you think that'd be bad enough, but if you can possibly comprehend this, <laughs> it is actually worse oh. than the other version. No! Yes, there no. is actually something out there worse than this. <laughs> you. God, I knew it. I knew it was gonna stop. No, it's hard to believe, but this oh. actually is more terrible than the rapping <laughs> door. No. So, what abomination of hell could possibly make it into the human world? Oh, oh, please give me some of that. Oh, sweet oh, no. Jesus, give me some of that, please. So I need some alcohol. Enough, so fucking bad. Also focuses on talking oh. the place that snuck aboard the Titanic. Somebody actually found it necessary to rip off the rip off. <laughs> Come on. What rip off this? I just... <laughs> Moving on. It turns out that an old sailor mouse is telling his grandkids what really happened the day what the really Titanic happened. sunk. Tragic ending to the maiden voyage of the Titanic. Hundred missing. A lot of people died, huh? The truth of the matter is that those missing persons were never the really voices. missing. It's a long and complicated story. I've heard better voices really? in a fucking indie developer so game. So that's how you're starting this movie out, by saying the hundreds of people that died on the Titanic didn't really die on the Titanic. Wow. It's all misunderstanding. One of these Sounds like a the fucking time. Alex Jones conspiracy theory. What the fuck is this? He catches. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger bottle. <laughs> yeah, bring it in. Go, oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, alright, youngsters, you've talked me into it. I'll tell you the whole story. Yes. Please do! My curiosity for the story <laughs> oh, that involves God, everyone God. surviving one of the biggest disasters in the world, it's really quite fucking peaked! It all began long ago in England. So, of course, we go into a flashback that shows Grandpa as a much <laughs> younger mouse who was a sailor on the Titanic. 
But hey, if having a flashback isn't similar enough to that other film, what do you say we have an exact shot replica for the reveal of our leading lady? Okay. Magnificent. No one will say a ripoff. It's this a is Rose. copy of I mean Rose. Job. I mean Rose. I mean Elizabeth. Hmm. She's excited to be on Titanic except for one tiny little detail. She hmm. has to marry a man that she doesn't love. Hmm. Yeah! Sound fucking yeah. familiar! Yeah, <laughs> copy and paste. to be fair, even though Billy Zane was basically a cartoony bad guy, they at least tried to make him I like loved, a I loved this guy. He was here. hilarious. They just slapped on an eye patch, an evil mustache, and anything else that would make him look like a James Bond <laughs> Yeah, what is that this? That or the boss fucking... from Harvey Birdman. I'd rather die than marry that horrifying, disgusting old... Okay, die, and then the movie will end quicker. And then we can forget this movie ever existed. Sounds good to me. And if we say that the best for you is the worst for you, then it's the best for you. <laughs> but at least the stuff with the cute little talking mice will be fun, right? No. <laughs> oh. All these mice do throughout most of the movies talk about ship protocol. Yeah. <sighs> Ship protocol! Isn't that exciting? Mm, yeah. Protocol, if you please. Aye, aye, sir. Mr. and Mrs. Angus Wallace Bruce McMouse. Mr. and Mrs. Porig Liam O'Rat and Angus. two children. Juan and a Angus is a Scottish name, I believe. Jean-Luc and Francois Ratatouille and the Mousetti family from Sicily. Featuring <laughs> Parmigiano, Pecorino, Gorgonzola, Provolone, you know, Tina, Cacciacovallo, Ricotta, Mozzarella. It's all cheese names. Oh. Is that supposed to be funny? With Adjunct Suomo and Becky Boisil and the <laughs> Silva Pereira Kenzo family from Recife with two children, Ronnie and Estrella. Thank okay. you, lovely now with the morning procedures. So we go up that rope, is that it? It's a right idea, but you have to learn sailor talk. Only uh. land lovers call that a rope. <laughs> God. Hey, remember when we used to just sneak aboard and eat shit? Can we go back to those days? <laughs> yeah, what? So Elizabeth comes Jesus. across a group of gypsies led by Tuxedo Mask here, who tells his dog to try and get Elizabeth's attention. Okay. Come here, boy. Good boy. What a lovely soft coat you have. There, that's better, isn't it? <laughs> oh. You idiot! I told you to get her necklace! Down? What kind of stupid <laughs> mutt are you? Oh. <laughs> Whoa! What the well, fuck? Well, suddenly got creepy. <laughs> yeah, what's he gonna do? Uh, Sniff a pat at you, next? What the fuck is this? My good man, you happen to be addressing <laughs> Don Juan Tenorio, Diariarte Gonzalez Leon. God damn! Who goes around with six names? <laughs> yeah. Prince of Andalusia, but Prince does not. I do actually. I go around with six names. Oh, and I have to add oh. Prince to that too. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm calling him Joe. Now step aside and let us board. Uh. So. Even though they established the dog has no owner, the dog is still allowed on anyway. Oh, wait, after he pees on him first. Of oh, course. Oh, you wretched beast, I ain't kept you for that. <laughs> oh, it's oh, not like I can just boy. go up there. Well, at least there's no rapping dog, so I'm happy That'll so far, you. to be honest. No, it landed on the dog. I guess there's nothing else it really would have done. No, oh, now I hate my hat. I hate my hat so much. <laughs> oh, my motivations are so confusing. Oh, no, 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 no. So after leaving the town of genetic clones, I'm not kidding. Genetic look, look, clones. We see wow. a villain named Mal Travers talk about his plans as a whim. There's no reason whatsoever why the Duke shouldn't grant me exclusive worldwide whaling rights. Not to mention the hand of his daughter. Why does Metal Gear Solid come to mind? What you mean? They just popped in my head. You hit the nail on the head. There's nothing in the world that counts besides Maybe it's the eye patch. Power. Everything else is simply there to be used Snape to achieve sort of patch objectives. Or something. I think we just saw the meeting Solid for how this movie got <laughs> greenlighted. So we get one of those phoned-in CGI shots of the ship as the captain discusses what he's going to do for the evening. Hmm. There's only one thing worse than a party, and that's a gala evening. Mr. Craig, have me called for any problem whatsoever, and if there aren't any, make one up. Oh, you mean like Mouse Bird went ahead? Yes, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hurry up, Ronnie, we're late. Oh, good. Our mousy friends got away from the rest of the team. Oh, I guess thank that God. Means there's not gonna be any Hopefully, we can get away from this fucking movie. Men are greedy and all too likely to cheat on construction and materials. So, for the first few days, be careful how you move about. Yeah, whatever. Same as no cats in America. There are no cats in America. Down the streets are every Eventually they do get away from the group, and they see what's going on in the first class quarters. She's as beautiful as a picture, and as fiery as the facial of a Kanioka. Uh, okay. I'll pour in my dreams for the rest of my life. I hate to be a spoil sport, but I would like to draw to your attention the fact that she's a woman, and you're a mouse. Yeah, <laughs> she is human. Die, and that's a racist. What you got? What? What? Well, there's one thing I'm not, and that's a racist. 
Do we really just take what? a situation with two mice, a young woman, and somehow what? come out with racism? What does that have to do with racism? How do you do what? that? What? First of all, it's not what? racism as much as species. Ism. Second, why is he fantasizing about a human female? Don't we have enough weird fetishes already with that crazy yeah. smelling fucktard? Let's yeah, be honest to a minimum. We're getting really bizarre here. Oh god, I spoke too soon. Just when you thought things couldn't get any weirder, things couldn't possibly get more oh, fucked god. up. No. Take a gander no. at this. No. What's your name? Oh, oh god. Please oh, don't. Understand you can understand us thanks to a net of magic. No moon talking dolphins. Your tears as they fell into the water. <laughs> we added a little magic of our own, and voila! Oh, you are out. magic, all right? You'll be uh, smoking <laughs> some magical water or something. You can't really smoke water, Uh-oh. but you get the point. Vaporize okay. it. <laughs> Am I dreaming this? I really must be dreaming this. I, I uh, really can't comprehend this. At you've all. been drinking yeah, at all. I mean, okay, too much we Kool-Aid. We now have magic dolphins who apparently can fly because, well, how the hell else are they staying up there so long? Who can suddenly talk to her because her rainbow bright tears caused some moonbeam bullshit, and now everything's coming up, Doctor. Yeah, Green. fuck it. Why but, not? Sure, A rapping why not? dog. Okay, you can talk to why not this? Now, arguably one of the most intelligent creatures on the entire planet. So what exactly? <laughs> Are you gonna say to him if i could turn into a dolphin like you that would make me happy that's great young lady that's great you what is this fucking pinocchio now what is this okay. what am i watching for the sake of argument let's say that you stayed in the theater after you saw this scene what exactly are they gonna do with this revelation please we're engaged no in a more. desperate battle to save the lives of our friends the whale the maltravers ships are hunting the poor things near to extinction i'm sorry which story are we watching? Uh, the is this Titanic story, the, ship, or... the mice, the whales? What is the focus? You can't just throw this incredibly bizarre bullshit at us and just expect us to go along with it. I know. I mean, it's like what? saying, hey, the Titanic wasn't destroyed by an iceberg. It was a evil gang of underwater sharks who are in cahoots with the evil whaler. Hey, me and the boys are ready to so go bizarre. into action anytime you say, guy. <laughs> Fuck it out. I have a message from the boy. This hey, can't be real. Tell him we're ready to destroy anything, anytime. <laughs> oh, cute. I'm sorry, I need to drop yeah. something. <laughs> I just. God, I. You can't. You really. I. I. I God, I can't. Oh. I'm sorry. I can't get through this in one sitting. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take the occasional break to look at myself in the mirror and cry. <laughs> what is... what is happening? I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> How did we go? Uh, so, why can the bad guys communicate with the Talking criminal dolphins, underwater sharks, shark gang? We don't know. This... It's never explained. It's so Maybe bizarre. he got some of that moonbeam bullshit from a crack dealer or something. But as of now, he doesn't want them to destroy the ship just yet. He just wants them to stay close. No more. But it luckily, it seems that magic also oh, seems to work God. on mice, as Elizabeth can suddenly uh, understand them now too. I'm sweating. The other, I'm fucking sweating bricks. Father, Everard, what you think? He's gotta fight. <laughs> of course, I'm going to fight. Now I know you two are on my side. This is worse than Star Wars: Everard. The Christmas and Holiday I'll Special. <laughs> yes. Now that they're on your side, I'm sure you'll have a great case to go up against your father. Father, I know you want me to marry that man, but I've been talking with the dolphins and mice, and they agree that it's not the right thing to do. Oh, please, Noble. Let's say this God, they did talk to me! <laughs> <laughs> this, well, that's Elizabeth what the movie needs. Elizabeth does go to needs. set the record straight, Trump and it turns out her father takes it unrealistically well. I have absolutely no intention of marrying Everard. I'm sorry to upset your plans, but... I... Plans, did you say? My one and only plan, dear girl, is to see you as happy as possible. But I would never dream of forcing you to do something you don't want to. Unless it okay. was the beginning of the movie, in which case I said you have no choice. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Seriously, what did she do different? She made yeah. the same argument she Maybe did before. Maybe you had to change your in heart. In fact, it's actually less angry. Are you honestly telling me that this... I have absolutely no <laughs> intention of marrying Everard. Is much more stronger than this? I'd rather die than marry that horrifying, disgusting old serpent. Oh, 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 that's just the PMS talking. You'll get over it. <laughs> I have absolutely no intention of marrying Everard. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> calm down, bitch, calm down! Huh. All right, we'll figure this out, <laughs> Yeah, I, d I don't get it. But meanwhile, down this hallway, or maybe it's this hallway, Okay. Nope, I guess it's his hallway. Okay, the bad guy why is looking to make sure what his the... evil wedding why schemes did they do go that? according to plan. 
But luckily, the mice kick him with a soccer ball and send him hilariously flying down the ship. Seems kind of pointless, seeing how we already know that Elizabeth isn't going to marry him, but hell, we need something to top the dog pissing yeah. scene, don't we? Did Meanwhile, apparently Joe is still in this movie, as we see he spends most of his time... Oh, God, get Stop over sniffing. it! God, it's I miss it's 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 What the fuck uh, is up with this? Almost as much as I miss Vanessa. <laughs> oh, no, that's But gross. it turns out the animals lead them together and they finally discover each other. And of course, they decide to dance. Of course. Because that's what happens. You fall in love by dancing. But, unlike uh, the other animated Titanic movie where they share uh, only please, three no. lines of dialogue and decide they love each other, mm. here they only share one line of dialogue. Yeah, one fucking line of dialogue and they know it's meant to be. I guess you consider sniffing the glove first bits. <laughs> I guess it's, they're like animals, pheromones. They but the whaler and evil stepmother, it turns out, are in cahoots with each other, and they fragrance. want to stop them from hooking up. I trust I've been clear enough. If Mr. Maltravers is so important to you, then you marry him. Actually, that's a great idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Why she's not? so evil, why doesn't she just leave Elizabeth's father and go with the whaler guy? Doesn't yeah. that make more sense? Uh, whatever. It seems that both Oh, sale fuck it. This sense. movie doesn't make so logic. I guess it's better so just to cut their losses and move on to the next logical step. Yeah, logic. Pull the step. father up at gunpoint, force him to sign the whaling concession, mm. and tie him up so he won't escape. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't do the okay. same thing. Yeah, yes. So he sends the message to the whalers that they're allowed to hunt wherever they please. But luckily, the mice cut the wires before the message can get out. Okay. I'm sure that won't backfire in <laughs> any way. <laughs> But wait, with the father Shouldn't tied up, someone's liable something. to come across him. So again, what's the logical thing to do? <sighs> the ship has to sink tonight. But remember, not a second before midnight, or else all your work will have been for nothing. Consider it done, Valley. Midnight How are they gonna do it? They're in the war. That's right. It's the evil gang of sharks that sank the Titanic because of a needlessly <laughs> complex whaling scheme. Aren't you glad we're simplifying the emotions of a horrendous tragedy to an insultingly basic You're gonna need battle a, of good versus evil? A shark the size of an atomic bomb blast to take down the Titanic. I just don't get it. Keep it on course. I don't even get it. Why do these Titanic movies need a bad guy? Hmm. Isn't the iceberg sort of the designated villain? <laughs> well, let's just call it a bad thing. A couple of my boys think what they the can even an iceberg. That? Thin. That sounds like great fun. So the sharks trick a giant octopus named Tentacle what is into that? an iceberg that... throwing contest. Uh huh. There's a giant octopus with a dog's face in this movie, yeah, and they're only waiting till the last third to show it. <laughs> yes. Quite a subtly <laughs> wheel us into that suspension <laughs> yeah. of disbelief. Well. Don't you realize what you've done? I think the sharks are ice throwing. Don't you realize what you've done? <laughs> it is dumb and dumber. What the hell is this? How many of them will be able to save? I'm sorry, my friend's a little it's slow. It's not like he can just grab the iceberg and push it out of the way. Oh wait, yes he can. Why don't you just grab the iceberg and push it out of the way? <laughs> so the whaler and stepmother escape mm. on the boat and, not to give anything away, okay. but the iceberg hits the ship. No hey, shit. Considering how much else they changed in this movie, I'm surprised they kept that. <laughs> They're sure to send out an SOS. Maybe there's a ship near enough that can make it in time to help us. Oh my goodness, we cut the wire. <laughs> you didn't repair it after? That's against every rule of the Sea Mouse Maritime Union. We spent two yeah. hours talking yeah. about ship <laughs> protocol and you didn't even follow it? Apart <laughs> on you! I just want to know. So they tried <laughs> to fix the wires with the help of Come another on, mouse this is named just silly. There. Get it? It's a cheese. But the wires won't stretch far enough. So there's only one thing to do. I've got it. Connect the wire to my mustache. Yeah! What? what? <laughs> yes, this will be an incredibly funny scene if it didn't end up killing him. No, seriously, it ends up killing him. Look! Oh, wow, God. animal abuse included yeah, in this movie. Man. This is fucked up. <laughs> okay, this there's a lot just... of moments in a Titanic movie where you're supposed to have a serious <laughs> death scene. You picked one, <laughs> and it's a fucking wrong one! <laughs> yeah, this is... <laughs> Like that downer Cameron movie where there weren't enough lifeboats, this film sets the record straight. There's room for everyone! What? See, there's room for everybody. There's room for Did everyone? You think those idiots at the History Channel knew what they were talking about? <laughs> no, no. It's the version with the giant talking octopus that has it right. <laughs> yeah, this is more for historical fact. So Elizabeth Definitely and Joe find the father and set him free, allowing on, him to get on the lifeboat. You know, the oh, oh, thank God Daddy's safe. Why doesn't the daughter go too? Or for that matter, why not the boyfriend? Didn't you just hear the guy mm. before? There's room for everyone! 
arm. Yeah. So hop on board. It doesn't matter if you have testicles in this movie. You can still <laughs> make it out. <laughs> but don't worry. Tentacles is there to put the ship back together. That's what? right. He's putting the ship back together. This is what happens in in, to the Titanic in an alternate brush, reality. Act of nature. The truth is, it's all my fault. No, Tentacles, it's not your fault. This all happened because of an evil, greedy human being. You heard it right there, folks. It was all because of an evil human <laughs> being. Realities of life don't play here. Hey, next time a family member dies, just tell your kid a whaler did it. It's all cool. I mean, hey, as long as you can fucking blame something. This is an insult to the memory of everyone on the Titanic. Wondering why an octopus has to hold his breath to go underwater. It what a fucking the slap in the news. face. The whales! The whales are here! Hooray! There be whales here! <laughs> There'll be whales. So the whales seem to save everybody on the ship, even the captain. Just like a... Yeah, because we all just like know Casper. he made it out okay. But unfortunately, tentacles can't hold on anymore and goes down with the ship. Nah, I'm fine with that. Fuck it. Well, at least the, the, the dolphins or sharks can feast on him. Yeah, that sucks. But we have a wedding to yeah. get to. That's right. <laughs> Elizabeth and Joe finally got married, as did Grandpa Mouse and that blonde who he only shared one line with. Seriously, do these guys mm. ever start a dialogue? When suddenly, their attention is drawn to the river. I have a wonderful surprise for you! That's right! Tentacles is alive! And look, even Cannon Bear, with no explanation whatsoever, <laughs> somehow made it out okay. I thought you were dead. Nope. Tentacles is alive! Look out there on the whale! All the others are alive too! That's right, even though there were no whales or people in that shot you just saw, apparently everybody made it out alive. Thank God this isn't the least bit insulting to the hundreds of people who tragically lost their lives, or else this could possibly be the worst thing we ever produced as a species. Tentacles, you are a true hero. And the many people who couldn't find space in the lifeboats, you saved their lives too. Tell us how you accomplished such an amazing feat. It was the whales who did it, really. What is up with the whaling shit in this movie? Look, if you want to make a movie about whales, that's fine. More power to you. But leave the deaths of hundreds of innocent people out of it if you don't mind. I mean, even Ferg only just stuck to the rainforest. They didn't try to work in the Hindenburg disaster or anything. So this Ronnie is Granny Stella's brother. So flashback to present day as the kids realize Grandpa has clearly gone off his meds and made this entire story up. That means nobody's on the whales any longer. Is that right? <laughs> This movie no is killing me. It's making me so angry. My blood pressure is really high, guys. I hope we nuke those fuckers so we don't get any more movies like this. This is worse than Star Wars Holiday Christmas Special. It's much worse. Understatement of the fucking millennium. Oh, Connors. So just to recap everybody, nobody died on the Titanic, animals can talk with moon magic, sharks form underwater gangs, whales are Jesus, and the reveal of a giant talking octopus in New York got absolutely no media attention whatsoever. So, to sum up... Fuck this movie. Nope, nope, I need a minute. Fuck this movie. What an <sighs> insult to history can and the Titanic and the, the people one? on the Titanic. I mean, the animation is better, but this goes from stupid to disgusting. This is insulting. the worst Just I've the ever idea seen. That people took this tragedy and turn it into such With a any Titanic way reference. To save the whales is mind-boggling. It's the fucking story abominable. Has nothing to do with whales, so why'd you make that connection? It's insulting to history. It's insulting to children's intelligence. It's yes. And it's it's insulting to insulting history. To he said it himself. Yes, honestly, it's that's what I'm saying. This so is insulting. I mean, it honestly makes this film look more realistic. Yeah. The film with the rapping dog. These is people should be fucking ashamed of themselves. The Honestly, Titanic. my fucking that blood is shooting right sink. now. It's this beyond is shit. And my guess is it'll take days before you stop feeling unclean from it. <laughs> my only hope is that people will finally learn their lesson and stop making animated spin-offs off this shit. Oh god. Please no. That's a joke, right? That's a joke. That's not true. 
they didn't make a spin-off. That was just a joke, right? That was just a joke, right? Tell me that wasn't real. <laughs> that was just, he was just being funny. <laughs> Please tell me that wasn't real. <laughs> oh, thank God, he's not revealing well, it. There's one thing I'm not, and that's a racist. Oh, God. Oh, God, have mercy. <laughs> oh, God, that was painful. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, that was the worst. I think that was the most painful, excruciating experience I've ever endured. I am not joking. This was the worst nostalgia critic experience I've ever had. I'm not saying this was bad. The, uh, not saying nostalgia critic's bad. I'm saying this movie was bad. It's not even fucking considered a movie. It's an insult. Um... But, uh, yeah, it was worse than Star Wars Holiday Special. Uh, it was just, it's an insult. It is an absolute insult to history. It's an insult to the people who died on the Titanic. And it's an insult to children. Who I mean, can you imagine a kid who never heard of the Titanic and you play this, The Legend of the Titanic, and you see talking mouses and fucking octopuses and sharks and all this... What's the kid gonna go to school? Writing a, a sort of uh, history lesson. Oh yeah, a giant octopus put the Titanic back together. And there were talking mice that chewed the wires. And there was a, a sort of mouse or uh, trying to hump a woman. He got a fetish for her. And it was this guy sniffing a glove. I mean, what the? What the? What? What? I mean, I just don't get it. I really do not get this movie. It is, it's, it's an abomination. It's a, a disgrace. Um, and this movie and the creators of this movie should be ashamed of themselves. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry I walked out. I stormed off into the kitchen there. But I had to get a Red Bull, honestly. I just needed a boost of energy because it this physically exhausted me. Uh, it, it was just one ridiculous thing after another. Uh, just talking fucking... Talking mice, talking dolphins, sharks, talking, talking to animals, uh, talking gigantic Casper octopus. Oh, Jesus. I mean, what the hell is going on with this movie? What were they thinking? What were they thinking when they made this movie? Um, yeah, I'm angry. This is an insult. This really is an insult. And uh, the, the creators of this movie should be ashamed of themselves. There should be no more... Uh, no more of this. Uh, it ends right here. There should be a petition, uh, a government law to stop these horrible fucking Titanic movies. Um, but uh, yeah, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to give a comment down below. Make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Thank God it's over, honestly. I am so happy that this fucking video is over. I I'm... I'm I'm gonna cool down, I'm gonna chill out, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna find some, something to relax myself, Cause honestly, my blood pressure is fucking high right now from anger from this damn movie, but uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content, mm -hmm. peace. <sighs>